Hey guys, Dr. Kyo here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a uh, long away the what if and that is what if Naruto was the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Pass Part 6. Now thank you guys for your patience. Uh, I, know you, um, I know you guys have been wanting this video and that's why I'm going to try to put the polls up and I'm very grateful that you guys participated and chose a very wise story because um, I've been putting a lot of thought into the story and I hope you guys well like some of the changes and like what happens okay because Naruto is OP before he is going to be very OP now okay guys but that's not only just Naruto everyone that's around Naruto gets influenced by a situation that has Naruto is also going to get strong too and you guys will see in the next part the continuation of the story okay so without further ado thank you guys for your patience and if you want to know what happened on the last video go watch the previous video and then jump back here okay but without further ado now let's get into this part six okay guys so let's begin our story takes place down in the hidden sand uh, hidden sand hidden sound village um where Danzo um gets his curse mark uh, from Orochimaru and on that Orochimaru's body is now starting to really wither and die. Orochimaru was scared, thinking that Danzo is going to betray him. He's just afraid of death, but um, but he feels that he does have reassurances <clears throat> that um, Danzo will help him. He has no reason to not believe Danzo is not going to un un undo the seal as well. But this is just the pain in his mind while he dies. And so what happens is after Danzo gets the injection, Danzo does and uh, he instantly does a, a, a unique sealing jutsu on it and what happens is as, as he does so he pulls out a kunai he um he and Morochimaru didn't realize that Danzo as he he gave Danzo, um, Danzo the injection Danzo removed the bracelet that was uh, um, hiding the Sharingan hand and he, he um anyway he does open his hand and open one of the eyes that are on his hands didn't open the rest of it just one of the Sharingans on his eyes and what he does pull the kunai out stabbed Orochimaru right in the right in the throat and Orochimaru I'm, I'm attacked him. I'm attacked him. Well, they did stab him. Well, Kabuto attacked him. Um, um, uh, Danzo. And um, what's it called? Because the favor was in Orochimaru's um, position when it came to them being in the hidden sound and village and being in his own base. Because um, Danzo anticipated Kabuto's attack. So what happens is, I remember Kabuto attacked, he cut off um, Danzo's head and the entire side of his body. And what happens is. Orochimaru laughed, laughed while well, I have, and thinking that Kabuto killed him, Kabuto lands, but it says, hey, right, Lord Orochimaru, I'll heal you. But what happens is Danzo appears right behind him, right, right behind him, and does a massive one style um, air bullet jutsu, or a real powerful one, and explodes it right through Kabuto's um, back, hits him, completely damages him, sends him a flying. Thanks to his unique chakra, he's not dead, but he's really, really injured. Orochimaru is looking at Danzo and he goes, Damn it, you use one of your Sharon guns. Danzo goes, I'll make this very quick, Orochimaru. He pulls out he pulls out another kunai with paper bombs on it. And he chucks one at them and he does the um uh, the here um the third Hokage is multi Shuriken Shuriken Jutsus. Shuriken Jutsus, yeah. And as he chucks them they 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 go around him and they pretty much explode destroying Orochimaru. All Kabuto could do was watch as that happened. <coughs> From there, Danzo got, Danzo got the Yamanaka um, man, um, um, brute ninja that was by him, to take control of the of Kabuto's mind and learn what he knew, to help him aid in his his new position and power. Danzo has it in his mind that he's going to take the power that Orochimaru has and to use it for his own means to not only make him more stronger but take power of everything, every land that is Danzo's dream now. He's not just going to be the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf, he's going to be the Hokage of the world. That's his plan. So what he does is he, get, he, use, he uses the Yamanaka clan um, man to um, get, get um, Kabuto to help him with everything and it works. Kabuto, uh, he gets through Kabuto and then when Kabuto gets close, um, Danzo um, activates his, his Koto Matsukabe in his left eye and uses it on, on Kabuto to be a loyal servant to him. And to help aid in making everything he needs possible, um, everything he needs to make him better. So Kabuto teaches him everything, reanimation jutsu, all that stuff, all the jagging the code he does in the walk. And then what happens is, this is two. This is as Naruto and Sasuke are leaving the hidden leaf. This all happens around that time, so there's still a lot, a lot of things that's going to happen. Danzo uses a lot of Uzumaki seals 
a lot of body sacrifices to amp up his, his um, curve cell on his body, not only that he gets Kabuto to inject with a lot of Hashirama cells. Because the curse mark is part of um, Orochimaru, Danzo starts to use the ability of, of, of Orochimaru, um, he starts to learn how to manifest the entire curse mark over his body. And it works, um, he, he doesn't get sick from it because the Kabuto helps him, helps him out to a great degree and not only that because he already has Hashirama cells within his body he can use it properly and not fully now so Danzo, Danzo now is really really powerful taking all of his money's power, the white snake power anyway. So from there we're going to look through the whole entire time skip between um, Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, okay? Shippuden, Shippuden, what the hell? Um, Shippuden. <laughs> Um, and we're going to talk about the adventures of Sasuke and Naruto. We all know what happens with Sakura. She does train with Tsunade and she does get really strong. Everyone else in the village gets really strong. They're going to be the same in canon, okay? As strong as they naturally would be, they're not as strong as... They're going to be slightly stronger. Let's just say they're going to be slightly stronger. All of them, than what they were. But um, what happens is um, when Sasuke and Naruto um, arrive back into the village, a massive change has happened between Sasuke, Naruto, and Jiraiya. Now, when Naruto, and when people see Naruto, they were used, to, they got used to seeing his red eyes. But when they see Naruto now, he has purple eyes, and it shocks a lot of people. A lot of people know what the eyes are, and a lot of people don't. And what, what happens is Jiraiya looking at Naruto, and Naruto's just like, it takes something because Naruto's used to being a little stared at and looked at because he has horns, he's pale skin, you know. Now he's got purple eyes. Now his purple eyes give him like, just so hexed to him. He just can't believe the immense power he has from these eyes. And what, what, it, what it, it's indes indescribable for him. The, the new power that Naruto has for himself. Jiraiya also got really strong. Okay, he might, he's got perfect sage mode. Easy as he can lock him down easy. And Sasuke, he, um, what's it called? He's way more powerful than Canon. Like. He's way more powerful than he would have had if he had the white snake from Orochimaru. Like he's, he'll, he'll own that form of Sasuke easily. He's as, he's as, as strong as the near eternal Mangekyo um, Sharingan Sasuke. He's near that strength, okay? Or well, the Sasuke that fought the Kage, so that's how strong he is now. Okay, so I'll give you a little rundown upon how Naruto got the Sharingan, a uh, Renegon, why Jiraiya has mastered Sage mode and how Sasuke got so strong, okay? So, within the first year of their training, so, um, Naruto mastered everything um, Jiraiya threw at him, everything. It was easy as it was like nothing for him. Kind of reminded him of Nagato, and he explained to Naruto who Nagato was. It was a Renegon user that he believed was the, the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths, but for some reason, he believes it's Naruto. He tells Naruto straight out he believes that you are. Jiraiya believes that Naruto is the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths. He bets his money on it. Or uh, make out tactics, everything about it. By watching Naruto's absolute godlike progress, limitless chakra, all that all that jargon like Naruto is just it dumbfounds him. But with Naruto's progress came comes Sasuke's progress. Sasuke progresses enormously in the in the the adventure with each other. Like Sasuke he picks up his lightning duties much more easier thanks to Naruto helping him, of course. Um, utilize his shine gun better. Um, Naruto pushed Sasuke, pushed Sasuke to the point where he unlocked his Mongekyo shining gun. Yeah, so um, it hurt Sasuke a lot through his training with Naruto, but um, Sasuke learned a lot of powerful jutsus. He learned the lightning cloak, well, not much lightning cloak. He generated lightning like sparks around him. So when he when he runs. He runs nearly as fast as like the Raikage, or the, let's just say the third Raikage, um, Sasuke runs like the third Raikage, but without the lightning cloak, okay, he's just leaving like a lightning trail behind him, and he amps his punches up with, with the lightning chakra, but Sasuke is pretty much like how the Raikage is, but with the Shining Gun and all his other Jutsus, Sasuke is actually quite a beast right now, and when it comes to Naruto, and this is just the first year of them training, this is the first year of them training, and um, when it comes to Naruto, he learns nearly just anything Jiraiya chucks at him. To the point where Jiraiya gets Naruto to learn how to um, um, do like multiple jutsus at once, like Earth, Air, like combine his jutsus to make other Genki Genkais, like um, 
scorch style, lava style, and all that stuff. Jiraiya gets an to do all those trainings. While Sasuke amps up his lightning chakra attacks and all that stuff. And not only that, because Naruto um, pretty much unlocked the curse mark that's on Sasuke, um, Naruto, uh, Sasuke was able to utilize his curse mark with his manga care, which made him really strong, but he hated the way he looked and felt when he, when he had this curse mark. So he asked um, Jiraiya in their first year, how, what, what they can they do to change how it is? And because Jiraiya saw how powerful both these two students are, it made him get back into training himself. So what happened is every every time they had every time he was inspiring or writing this book, Jiraiya would reverse summon him and Naruto and Sasuke to Mount Miyaboku, and there Lord Fukusaku would help Sasuke with his his curse mark. Because Fukusaku is an, an, an old frog, okay, even if he might have stuff, they know stuff that not much people know. And because he's a sage toad, like how Ryuji Cave has the sage snakes, they will have generalization of a lot of things that go well. But when it comes to the curse um, sage mark on on Sasuke's neck, Fukusaku tells Jiraiya that the only place that this can be fixed or be helped or modified or, or upgraded is the Reach Cave. Jiraiya looks at um, Sasuke and he knows that Sasuke, if he wants to get stronger and be strong, he needs to go and learn this. He needs to go to Reach Cave to, to learn this because Sasuke does have stake summonings. So, what happens is Jiraiya doesn't send Sasuke right away for the first year that he's trained, that's how they were uh, normally, but when it comes to the second year, things massively change. Okay, so one of the, one of the times out, um, Sasuke and Naruto are training, and Sasuke is pushing the limits more and more and more. And this is before Sasuke goes to Reichi Cave to learn White Snake Sage Road. What happens is Sasuke is really proficient at all his jutsus, especially his lightning chakra. And because Naruto is just very strong and very fast, and the Sharing Gun is just very powerful, the battle is intense between them always. Naruto takes Sasuke seriously, but he doesn't. Whenever it comes to them fighting, Naruto never lands a punch on Sasuke, he never does. Because he's way stronger than he was when he last fought Sasuke, Naruto notices that. Like, he's way stronger than Tsunade's strength that displayed. Originally, like, Kate Naruto is stupidly incredibly strong, like, that's not even, yeah, and not only that, Naruto, <coughs> in watching Jiraiya, um, in Sage Mode, he watched how Jiraiya was gathering nature energy and, and circulating and balancing it with his own chakra within his body, <coughs> so, Naruto for a while just watched Jiraiya, until Jiraiya mastered Sage Mode, now, what happened is, Jiraiya asks Sasuke, does he want to go to Ryuji Cave to do this learn, to learn Sage Mode or learn how to modify that thing on your neck? Sasuke goes, um, he goes, but aren't you meant to babysit me? And he goes, he goes, yes, but I have a reverse summoning contract on you, so no matter what, if you try to, get, if you go too far where you're not meant to be, I'll reverse summon your ass back to me right, right away. Sasuke gets, like, if I say that, he's like, damn, okay, dry up. He goes, okay, Jiraiya Sensei, because Naruto and Sasuke both have Jiraiya Sensei. So, so what happens is Naruto just goes to Sasuke, you should go. Learn the Jutsu, come back. And Sasuke goes, what are you going to do? He goes, I think I'm going to try to learn the Jutsu that Master Jiraiya is teaching right now. What Master Jiraiya is learning right now. And Sasuke goes, okay, so this is where we part for now, Naruto. Naruto goes, do I need to watch you, Sasuke? And he goes, no, you don't. So Naruto smiles. And then what happens is, Sasuke and um, Jiraiya tell Sasuke to summon a snake, and, he, and when he summons a snake, he summons Iota. And when when he comes to that snake, um, Sasuke tells him that he's gonna reverse summon himself back to Marichi Cave, where he can take on the snake's white snake summoning or white snake sage training. And Iota goes, "Well, um, as you command, Lord Sasuke." Sasuke jumps in Iota's mouth, and he says to Naruto, um, "Don't go too." Um, don't jump too far ahead of me, Naruto. I still want to be able to beat you one day. Naruto smiles. Sasuke smiles back at him with a shower gun activated, and Naruto closes his mouth, and Sasuke reverse summons him. He goes back to uh, Ryuichi Cave, and Naruto and, Sas and Jiraiya train. Now, Jiraiya takes a little while to master Sage Mode um, within, that, within that time period, but Naruto learns how to master it pretty fast. He actually learns how to master it pretty fast. Now, I'm going to say, due to 
Naruto not needing the motivation to learn it because he's just so powerful. He learns it around the same amount of time it takes for him to learn it as his canon self does, okay? Bear in mind that Naruto is like Naruto is learning this. He's not it's not urgent for him, so he's just gonna take his time. Okay, this is why I justify it this way, it's gonna take the normal a normal couple of days for him to master sage mode. But Naruto easily picks up Frog Kumite Frog Kumite with Dan Dryer. They both when Naruto master sage mode, he gets the same he gets the same pigmentation over his eyes and that's it. No change in the showering or anything at all, it just gets that pigmentation over his eyes. And that's it and and Naruto's in sage mode. Now here's the rub off of everything. After Naruto went sage mode he can no longer ever turn off sage mode. He, he realized that the moment he turned sage mode and the, and the chakra circulated and how much it became natural for the body to naturally absorb chakra and store it evenly and balanced between the normal mental, physical and culture energy, mental energy, physical energy and sage energy all that stuff. Because of how Naruto's unique um, powers are, he, um, sage mode does not turn off on him. He thought having a Sharon gun was overpowered. Now here he has Sage Mode where he, his senses are just super duper heightened. Where he can sense everything around him. Everything around him. So what happens is Jiraiya and Naruto train all the time. Naruto always trains with his eyes closed and so does Jiraiya. So they practice their jutsus and know that Jiraiya will learn how to fight properly and not be um, susceptible to Sharon gun or Genjutsu. So Jiraiya um, fights with Naruto and not only that, through the period um, through period alone Jiraiya learns how to gather sage mode and mold sage mode perfectly and that, while running he can do so easily. It'll take him, it'll take him like 3-4 seconds to get in sage mode but Jiraiya can do that while moving, unlike how Naruto couldn't. And because Naruto is always in sage mode it's just natural for him, he can't turn it off. When Fukusaku uh, noticed that about Naruto, he, he suggests to Naruto he can go, go see the old sage in the mountains. And what happens is Naruto goes okay, and when he gets sent to see um, giant giant toad or elder toad or Gamamaru, that's what his name is. Um, Naruto walks in and get all oh, when Gamamaru opens his eyes or elder sage toad opens his eyes, he, all he sees is um, um, Hagoromo, and he goes, a oh, long time my no see my old friends. I was wondering when a reincarnation of you would come. Naruto said, huh? Like, what are you talking about? And he goes, There's a reason why you're so different, Naruto was a monkey. There's a reason why I recognize you so much, Naruto. I was a sage's past teacher when it came to Senjutsu anyway. Naruto said, The sage of six paths. And then Naruto thinks what Jiraiya always talks about and how Jiraiya pledged and absolutely believes that Naruto is the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Pass, not Nagato, a regal friend to Naruto's mind what the old sage was talking about. So Naruto looks at and goes, I am the reincarnation of the literal god of ninju ninjutsu. He goes, mm-hmm, been a long time old friend. And Naruto's like, smiles. Fukusaku, um, Lord Fukusaku is shocked to hear that Naruto is the, re is the reincarnation. He gets down, he bows to Naruto, and Naruto looks like Naruto is confused but understands why does it. It's just formality for them. Gamamaru just tells Naruto, a great evil is coming to this world, Naruto. I have foreseen this prophecy. I told Lord Fuk I told Fukusaku to bring you to me the moment you master Sage Mode. Um, there is a problem with your power, Naruto. Naruto goes, what is that? He goes, from, from the day you use Sage Mode to the day you die, since the Sage Mode energy will never turn off on your body. Naruto's like, shocked. And he's like, shit, I can pretty much feel everyone around me, like it just baffles him. And he goes, it was the same for the Sage of Six Path, he was always on Sage Mode. And that's why they call it Six Path Sage Mode. So it's Six Path Sage. Naruto's like, Oh. And Dry is there listening to it too. He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I told you, I told you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Dry is like, Hey, wait, you knew the Sage of Six Pass and you didn't tell me? And he goes, 
and yeah, you can really get in the old Togo as well. I, I kind of forgot, and he goes, kind of forgot, hey? You remembered in your prophecy that I was a pretty man when you first told me, correct? Hey, Gamma Mighty laughs. He laughs. But he tells Jiraiya um, that it's, it's almost time for you to retrieve Sasuke Uchiha. Do not let him continue going on the path that he could possibly go. Naruto, if you want to prevent what needs to be prevented, then, um, things need to change. You need to not hold back when it comes to your next battle with Sasuke. There needs to be a definite and under absolute understanding between you two when it comes to power and the vacuum of that power, Naruto. Naruto's like, what do you mean? He goes, if you do not go full out on Sasuke, he will resent you. That resentment will grow into actual action against you and the leaf and everyone else. Sasuke has unique powers and he will he's easily be molded to go against the new. So Naruto, when you fight up Sasuke, you have to push yourself to the absolute. You need to show the absolute difference between you and Sasuke when it comes to your next battle. This is my warning, and if you do so, the future I foresee of you saving the world will come. And Naruto said, like, oh, he just, just takes a step back. So. Even if, it, even if it means I kill Sasuke and the, and the old stage, so it goes, if it ends up that way, Naruto, then you do. I will send Fukusaku if that's the case. He'll, he'll get, or bring a special treasure that we told to held there. We have multiple one, multiple of these, but we just don't freely give these out to okay? Kane. The last person to use, last human to use one of these was the Sage of Six Pass. Alright, well, not Naruto goes. Thank you, thank you, Giza Toad. Walks out, smiles, and Yamamari smiles and goes, Goodbye, old friend, and good luck. And so, what happens is this took like a good, a good couple of months. And so, what happens when Dry reverse summons Sasuke back to the um, Mount Miyaboku? It's already, been a, it's already been a year and six months. And what happens when Sasuke comes back? He's visibly more powerful than ever. Jirai can see that massively, massively. Sasuke is just he's phenomenal. He's become way more powerful. He mastered all of Ryuji Kyo's snake, um, snake trials, and not only that, he mastered his sage mode. Easy as Naruto and Sasuke look at each other in the square. Sasuke can notice that the sage, the sage jutsu that's around Naruto, and he's, uh, he's baffled. And then Sasuke goes to Naruto. Naruto. Have you gotten stronger? As, and as Naruto goes, yes, I have Sasuke. Have you gotten stronger? Sasuke smiles and goes, Yes, yes, I have. Naruto goes, No, hold apart, Sasuke. You understand? Sasuke goes, I, I agree, Naruto. I agree. So, what happens? Does Sasuke and Naruto leave, leave to an area? Jiraiya comes to, he jumps on top of a rock. Ma and Pato land right on Jiraiya's shoulders. They don't just connect to him to give him sage mode, but they sit on him just to relax. They normally sit on his shoulders anyway. And what happens is all the toads watch as Sasuke and Naruto uh, square off and Mount Miyaboku in a, in a, like a massive training area. And what happens is Sasuke and Naruto square off and Sasuke goes, I will not hold back, I will hit you with everything I got, Naruto, everything I got. And so Naruto goes, that's fine, Sasuke, you can come at me and I'll do the same. Naruto goes, are you serious this time, and Naruto? Naruto instantly rolls up his chakra, instantly evaporating, activating his chakra, making the ground shake around him. Sasuke is shocked. But Naruto's Naruto's power is just enormous, and this is just his sage mode chakra and, and his own chakra mixing. And so I hope since Sasuke does the same, he, he doesn't hold back. He goes straight into his white snake sage mode. But he, the, the mark appears over his eyes, and he opens his eyes, and he has his one Gekyo shining gun. Naruto notices that. So the fight's gonna be interesting. It's Naruto's Sharon Gun versus Sasuke's Mongekyo and Naruto's Sage versus Sasuke's Sage. So it was a good battle. And the moment that the battle commenced, shockwaves were instantly felt by the attacks. If we weren't in Sage mode or, or had like the Six Gates or Sharon Gun, we would not have not seen the battle between Sasuke and Naruto. They moved everywhere, destroyed everything. Their clashes were back and forth, hardcore, hardcore. Sasuke, Sasuke was, um, was showing absolute mastery of his career stage mode to the point where he can use an organic transformation to do where he can make the ground lift up um, um, and, and block Naruto's way. Naruto can see this, but thankfully for Naruto, his mother's um, 
the Uzu, uh, the Uzumaki barrier or the yeah, the nature barrier instantly breaks the um the walls away, the fences away, which Sasuke anticipates but uses it to his advantage. He remember back when he when he fought Sanarito and Naruto uh, one kicked him, like the bitch that curb stomped his ass. Sasuke remembered there was a time there was a time up between each attack, so, so Sasuke could chuck Kunai's and even though Naruto can anticipate them, these still will be enough to distract them enough so Sasuke can get closer and attack better and more. So what happens if Sasuke does the same, Sasuke uses his, his, his shuriken due to the bounce hundreds of shurikens back in Naruto, going through all the the, time, the blind timing zones where the the wind chuckle, the earth chuckle, the fire chuckle, the water chuckle, the air chuckle, the lightning chuckle, um, don't protect at all. So what happens from there is um, Naruto notices that Sasuke is brown praying on his weakness and so Naruto can't and can't rely on the on the chakra barrier, nature barrier anymore. So Naruto gets more serious. He tells Sasuke that it's time to get serious. And as Naruto le um, instantly does the body fuck, he destroys the, uh, the ground around him and appears right in front of Sasuke. And as he goes to punch Sasuke with a full-on punch, Sasuke is just on all, um, appears in Naruto completely cracks half the rip of Susanoo and sends it flying. The rip cage in which sends Sasuke flying with the wall, Sasuke lands of course and he begins to manifest more of the Susanoo. All the way up to the point where he generates skin and, and two arms over his Susanoo. The same one he used to crush Donzo with the cannon fire. Naruto sees this and is impressed. And because Sasuke amplifies it with his own sage mode, it's a fucking sage mode Susanoo Sasuke. Really, really powerful, and uh, Naruto sees this. He knows he can't keep it up for too long if he just keeps doing his mundane things. So Naruto, he, what he does, he stands back. He stands back. But he just, he, he just puts his, he pushes his, directs his hands by the water, and as he lifts his hands up, a massive water dragon appears in the water. And Naruto chucks it right at Sasuke. Well, Sasuke anticipates this. He was anticipating this attack from Naruto. He anticipates how Naruto attacks. He's been practicing long enough, and so what happens is as the water comes, Sasuke makes it look like he got engulfed. But really, he's standing on the other side, and that was just a shadow clone. Naruto is impressed, and he goes down and look again because Naruto slams the ground. Wood style starts to uh, wood, wood style starts to appear on the ground. This is what takes Sasuke by surprise. He knows he knows if Naruto is using wood style, this is serious. Sasuke jumps away, absolutely jumps away, hardcore, dodging, dodging, dodging. Naruto lifts his hand up and the wood dragon appears underneath Naruto's feet, lifting him all the way up to, to where Sasuke is jumping around and Sasuke has seen this thing. So what he does is he, he pushes himself and he manages, manages to manifest more of a Susanoo. The Susanoo that has legs so, and he, he, he manifests that jumps around and destroying him, lots of the trees trying to get around, trying to get around. Naruto is just waving his hand making more trees appear. And this is where Fukusaku and uh, Fukusaku and, and uh, the wife of Fukuzaku, she um, impressed their concern for the Naruto and Sasuke's powers uh, battle was starting to get really, really chaotic. And so what happened to Sasuke uh, is, is full on manifesting the system of living him up continuously being fighting Naruto. Naruto sees this and he sees that Sasuke's power is incredible and then he's held back for too long. So what happens to Naruto just resents himself. He, he squares himself against Sasuke and then Naruto puts his feet there. He bends down crush it, and crushes his hand, his right hand, leans back and boom, puts all the energy into blitzing forward. He runs as fast as he can towards Sasuke. Sasuke is shocked about the sheer speed Naruto does at this point. Then Naruto jumps right into where Sasuke's guard is and puts his hand up. And as Naruto hits Sasuke's Susanoo, he completely shatters the Susanoo. But he doesn't just shatter the Susanoo, he goes right through it because Naruto amped up the Tsunade power he has with the Sage Mode, perfect Sage Mode. And only that he wasn't hold back, holding back at all, he put 100% in this punch. Naruto punched right through Sasuke's system or destroying it. And as Naruto was trying, uh, like, before Naruto could actually fully react, it was already too late. Naruto hit Sasuke. He completely hit Sasuke. And Sasuke hit the ground with so much force that the crater was so massive. The crater was so massive. Sasuke was completely destroyed, like, cause all his bones and they were all broken, everything. It was because of the Susanoo behind them that Sasuke even even looks like something, you know? Naruto completely killed him with one punch, quite literally. Nay killed him with one punch. And Naruto can see Sasuke, siege Sasuke's chakra just dying down, dying down. And, and at first Naruto thought and said this is what needed to be done as the Lord Elder said. Then Naruto feels in his heart, he begins to cry knowing that he, 
he quite literally almost killed his pretty much killed his best friend. He goes jumps down, lies down, and he, he tries to tries to use his power to heal Sasuke. But what happens is Naruto thanks to his own his own mixed emotion and that of the Nine Tails track of Stone Alikin, this um Naruto can't keep the chakra molding in a certain position. He's too upset, too emotional. Everything's taken over. He's so destroyed, he just, and he feels that Sasuke just died. He just feel he feels that Sasuke just died right in front of him. And what happens? Naruto lets out a massive primal scream that makes the makes the land shake. And as Naruto drops to his knees, he looks down. It's like he begins to cry. And when he opens his eyes, his eye man his two eyes manifest into a Mangekyo shining gun. And then, and then the Renegon instantly. Naruto goes through those changes straight away, and Jiraiya sees this. Fukusaku sees this. Ma, pa, uh, ma, sorry, Ma Pato sees this. Even Gamakichi, Gamabunta, all of them. And Elder Toad said Naruto did it. He did it. And what happens is Naruto, with his powers, look at Sasuke, and then Fukusaku jumps right next to Naruto and he goes, he goes, well done, Naruto boy. Naruto is about to get angry at him, but, but Fukusaku puts a tag on Sasuke and he sits there and he goes, It'll take a moment. And he goes, What's that? He goes, Ryuji Cave, Sage Mode Chakra, it takes a while to kick in. It's like a snake juice, okay? And he goes, Meaning, he goes, Do you know how Orochimaru rips himself out of a body per body? And he goes, Ooh, yeah. And he goes, Well, Sasuke has that ability. Thanks to the curse mark on the body, he has some of Orochimaru's spirit. I got, in, I got in contact with the white snake, white snake of Ryuji, so that she sent a scroll detailing everything. Sasuke with the like, Naruto's arm, and he goes, Don't to worry, the sage mark will heal Sasuke. And sure enough, as Fukusaku put the, the tag on Sasuke, Sasuke's body begins to break together, one back together, and everything that, all the blood that he just lost from the South Naruto punch. Sasuke um, pretty much regenerated it all, all, and he got all healed back thanks to the curse seal. Um, Naruto is so happy that that happened, that Sasuke is alive, that he didn't actually kill Sasuke. He was so upset that he did though, like, that he just couldn't believe himself, Sakura, he knew that Sakura would not have forgiven him, but neither would Lady Tsunade. So, uh, does Naruto falls to the ground, so happy that Sasuke is alive. Sasuke gets up, he's recovered thanks to this, the healing tag, and he gets up and he sees Naruto, he's shocked. Naruto's eyes just evolved to rip. Our purple eyes. Fukusaku sees him and goes, The Renegon. And Jiraiya goes, Mm hmm, the Renegon. And then what happens is Fukusaku summons all of them before they can ponder or, or say anything. They all get summoned to where Fukusaku's place is. And then what happens after that is Sasuke. Sasuke is brought before him and he, um, Fukusaku apologizes for gambling with Sasuke's life. Naruto needed to need to do this, or the future would not have changed, or the prophecy saw would not have changed. And Sasuke is just looking like confused. But Naruto explains that he had to go all out, or you would have went down a dark path that would have consumed everything. Sasuke looks at Naruto, like, huh? And Sasuke just like he's just shocked. And then Gamamari looks at right at Naruto and says, Oh, you did it, old friend. Achieved the power that you once had before, but now you're starting to gradually get stronger. And why? And why are the other side? The other two says this because Naruto has still the, the full power of a Minetail Fox on him. Naruto barely uses that at all, if not nothing, he just talks to it, the Kuruma within him, you know? And so, what happens from there is Sasuke. Sasuke pretty much bows his head to Naruto and sees, he sees that Naruto is a is an obstacle that he just can't get past but he knows so Itachi is an obstacle he can compete with Obi thanks to the training of Naruto Sasuke is as strong as a legendary Sani now Jiraiya Jiraiya just has a combat experience and everything like that they always when it comes to the aspiring Jiraiya speeds up through to experience and his jutsus so yeah but Sasuke is relative to Jiraiya perfect sage mode Jiraiya is relative to perfect sage mode Naruto Naruto oh sorry perfect sage mode Sasuke is a perfect, is a near rival to perfect Sage Mode Jiraiya. Yeah, I apologize. Naruto is on his own level. Fuck, on his own level. Like, he's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And what happens is, when they're after the talk of Gamamaru, Gamamaru Naruto talk, jump, goes into his mind, talks to Ninetales, 
and tells him, why did you allow your chakra to leak? I could have saved Sasuke. I could have saved Sasuke if you just didn't um, get in the way. And the Nine Tails explains he apologizes. He had no control of his, own, his old emotions. The anger of humans still lingered in his mind and he kind of, he kind of caught wind to the emotional spectrum. Naruto got it straight away. He got exactly what the Nine Tails meant and he apologized to the Nine Tails. But when the Nine Tails sees the, um, Naruto's eyes, Yen Se goes, so, you, so it is you old man. You may not remember Naruto in your previous life, you are the sage of six bars. Naruto's like, yeah, I've been told now for three years. And drag, and then when up Kuruma goes, I can't believe it's been so long, old man. It's been so long, and you went to you reincarnated into this brat. It's very ironic. Naruto gets any smiles. He understands now, and then Naruto explains, What kind of powers does my eyes have? And he goes, Beats me. Um, Jirai, um, um, the sage was just so powerful, he, didn't need, he, did, he pretty much does, but you know, do Naruto. He just lifts a hand, and shit happens. Say something, and shit moves, you know? Like, Naruto is like, Oh, okay. It's up to you how you use the powers, Naruto. So Naruto's like, Fine. So yeah, that and so what happens from there? Naruto, Sasuke, and Jiraiya train for the next what whole year. Properly after that, Naruto mastering his mastering all his paths of well, not paths of pains, but the six past powers he has. Naruto learns how to master that properly. He learns all the jutsus that that Nagato knows. He learns all of them, like the Jupaku Tensei, the uh, Shinra Tensei, Bosho Tensei, all all their stuff. He learns all those, all the attacks that Nagato has, but he doesn't need to separate himself, and he can do them all at once with his unique power. And yeah, knowing that through Naruto's training in that three and uh, two and a half years, Naruto um, ripped open the Nine Tails cage, and him and Naruto, when what happens? The Nine Tails didn't want to leave Naruto for the first time in the year for years. He's felt at peace. And so what happens is Naruto and the Nine Tails merge their powers together, pretty much. And Naruto gets the KCM Cloak 1 and 2. From the Nine Tails, when he needs to, of course. And now that Naruto has super duper perfect Sage Mode. And what happens Dry has super Sage perfect Sage Mode as well, and so does Sasuke. But as long as the White Snake one, like a little Chimaru. And so that's what happened within their two and a half years of training. So when Naruto returned to the village, Naruto the same, but he, instead he flies all the way up. He flies to where the top of the tower was. Well, what happens is as Naruto lands, Sasuke, Sasuke appears right next to Naruto standing on top of the on top of the um, pillar as well. Where actually, now Sasuke is hanging to the left of the bit, hanging over on the sides. And they both reminisce on the hidden leaf. Now what happens is, in the two and a half years that Danzo killed Orochimaru and took his power, Danzo also evolved. Also evolved his power. He put as much um, he put as much forbidden jutsu as he could into it, making himself so much stronger to the point where thanks to Orochimaru's power, every time Danzo did use the Izanagi, he just needed an hour to let the eyes recharge and open up again. Yeah, naturally the eyes should go blind, but thanks to the Hashirama cells and the White Snake Sage Mode cells and knowing that Danzo has so much Preparation of time and power uh, and resources to do things now. Um, the white stake stage, but um, what happens is um, Danzo can use Izanagi, he can pretty much spam the Izanagi because it takes five minutes for the Izanagi to um, re regenerate in each of the eyes. So if he was to use the Izanagi in all the eyes and they, they die for a period of time, like if he'll pretty much be able to really always recycle the Izanagi. And only that, Danto is able to use the curse mark exactly like Sasuke's curse mark. This curse mark em envelops, and instead of ground wings, though, um, Danto just gets really, really strong. His hair gets a little bit longer, and his skin changes color, but all in all, he's, so, he's just so much powerful. And only that, and only that, the eyes on Danto's arms have um, all evolved to Mongeki or Sharingan eyes, pretty much like a Shin's eyes are, and they work. They, they, they work Absolutely the same way as Shin's eyes, where they control um, objects and everything like that. So Danzo is very fucking powerful now, very very fucking powerful. I know that he upgraded the Yamanaka boy and the 
and uh, have a Rami boy. The purple bug guy made them give them this from a sage mode, so they're much more powerful. Way more powerful than Kenna. So Danzo is just fucking top tier now. And so yeah, so now I turn them return to the village and Danzo is just more powerful. So this is where I'm gonna leave this one off for now guys, okay? I hope you like this example and idea upon how Naruto's two and a half years of training with Sasuke and Jiraiya is. Um, I'm definitely going to get the next episode out after I finish off a couple of more episodes. But I'll be rolling this one straight after, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Please be safe and happy new year to all of you, okay? But like usual, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.